how the system is, is everything, it's already um, configured, basically. So mainly sometimes you have to just add code to do something you want it to do. For example, if it's an enhancement, to enhance it, to enhance the performance. But most of the config, it's already built. You just have to implement and change it to the client's need. Good day. Welcome to season two of Discover Talent with Vico.net. My name is Kakishorid. This season, we're going to do things a bit differently. We're going to speed date with our guests. What that means is a slightly shorter format, but that will be packed with informative conversations. Today, I am with Mosima Mutlana. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How are you? I am well. How are you? No, I'm well, thank you. And thank you for honoring our invitation. Uh, you guys can be quite difficult to, <laughs> to find. I'm glad I, I made it and thank you for contacting me. No, 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 thank you. So you're a consultant. Yes, What I'm does consultant. that mean? It could mean so many things. Um, so how I would describe it to my little sister is that if you go to the bank and your app or your money is missing, you go to the consultant at the table and they help you sort out that problem. So I can say we're problem solvers for our clients. So whichever problem that they have with the expertise that we carry, we help them solve that problem, basically. So we problem solvers for our clients. Okay. <clears throat> so you are a problem solver for your clients. Yes. Um, and you work at a bank. No, I do not work at a bank. So I, go, I work for a consulting firm. And so the client can be a bank, uh, which previously I was at a bank, or it can be any other financial institution that uses uh, the platform that we service. Okay. Yeah. So you are more of a business to business uh, service. So you're a con you work for a consultancy firm yeah. that has clients yes. like banks, financial yes. institutions. Yes. So that's very interesting. And, and your background is actuarial science? Yes, I studied. Uh, and financial mathematics? Yes. Yeah? Yes, correct. Yes, I studied actuarial science uh, at UP. And then from there, the, I started with the consultancy, um, which is IT mm -hmm. and IT consultancy, uh, which is weird, but we got there. And I think it's because of uh, the background that I had yes. that acquired me the job in the okay. first place, yeah. So let's connect those dots, right? Yeah. So financial mathematics, actuarial science, yeah. uh, and you're doing IT. Yes. How did this migration happen? Um, so, uh, so in actuarial, actuarial science covers a lot of a lot of um, disciplines. So one can be you have a strong financial background, and in as much as it is an IT role, you need to understand the business, you need to understand the financial side, you need to understand the products and how they work. And that degree offered me that knowledge, as well as programming efficiency. So okay. I learned, so we, all of our assignments, let's say it's stats, we would use our um, Excel, and then I got introduced to Python after working after graduating, yeah. and so that's how I managed to acquire the role okay. because of those okay. knowledge. So the stereotype about actuarial, uh, you know, people that study actuarial science, not true, right? Which one? That it's you know always grey shoes, grey jacket, and all <laughs> of that. Uh, have they misrepresented them? I don't know that part. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I've never heard of it. No, I hear you. I hear you. No, I was just pulling your leg. Oh. Uh, but that is fantastic uh, that you can connect, you know, these two, that it is that broad yeah. as well. So if I said to you in a minute or two, explain a day in the life of Mosima at work. What do you do? Okay. Um, what would that look like? Okay, so I go to work, go to the stand-up and tell them what I did yesterday. So it's a lot of accountability. You need to know what you did. So you're always up to date with your work. And, and then 
let's say, so it depends on the project. So if we are in the beginning of the project, then we're going to do some scaling, we're going to do some analysis, um, understand what the, uh, the client needs. So based on their business, we then can design um, the solution based on the structure of the business. So we cannot always do it from a banking perspective, but we also need to understand it from other financial institutions perspective that, okay, this is not a bank. This is this kind of um, financial institution. So design the solution in respect to that specific institution. So first get the business model. And then once that's done, we can now implement the solution at that specific institution. Um, we can do customization so they can uh, give us different requirements and enhancement if they already had our product in their, in their organization. So we can do enhancement, we can customize the, the solution or we can rather help them solve a problem. Maybe they've been using the solution for a while mm -hmm. and they need us to help them fix some of the problems that they have encountered with the solution. That's where, you know, IT support comes by, where people then just stand in that gap and support and maintain the product mm -hmm. in the organization. Mm -hmm. So there are different steps. So if you're in the beginning, you're just going to be implementing, installing and making sure that it's running. And then if you are at the end, you're going to be doing training, you're going to be demoing the product, making sure that the users are aware of how they can use the product. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> you were running out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking too much. I was trying to... <laughs> no, but thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. It's not easy to explain yeah, what it's, one it's does, not, right? Yes. In, in a minute or two, but fantastic job there. Thank, thank you for you. that. I mean, what I picked out of it is that <clears throat> understanding client needs becomes important. Uh, so that brief right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, daily checkings, you know, your stand-ups, as you yeah. call them, uh, accountability True. came through quite strongly. So yeah. clearly performance orientated. Yeah. Um, a lot of understanding what you're doing. True. Uh, because, you know, like you said, account for what you did yesterday, yeah. what's planned for today, what's planned for the week, right? Yeah. Um, and then customizing solutions to your clients' needs and yeah. so forth. To get to where you are, what were those stepping stones? I mean, what is it that you had to do mm -hmm. to be considered to be a consultant, right? Because mm -hmm. it sounds like a lot of moving parts yeah. or understandings or skills that you need, yeah. right? What are some of those skills that you build up and what were those things that you had to do to be, to be a consultant? Okay, um, so after graduating, I so I was just applying, but I was applying for jobs within maybe the actual space, the quantitative space. I didn't really throw my net wide. Um, and that's when a friend of mine told me about an opportunity to do a learnership in the IT space. And that's when I enrolled for that and I learned IT in as yeah. much as I would say I know how to code, but I was not proficient. I still am not. It's mm. really, yeah, it's a lot. But that sort of gave me an understanding of how things are built. Because I think in, in our degree, for instance, what we mainly do co from a coding perspective is that we do calculations, we solve our own mathematical problems, mm -hmm. but we're not building something that's going to be of use. Okay. Yes, we can do models and model, uh, make predictive models, but we're not building you know, a system, something like that. So me having to get out of that mindset of I'm calculating this, I'm get, I want to get this result, I want to create this model, but rather building something that will make other people's jobs easier. Okay. Yeah, so learning from that yeah. perspective. Yeah. Um, yeah, so okay. that's how I, I managed to then get my job. Yeah. And then I think my first real job, I was doing more business analysis and uh, test analysis, which then helped me understand the business. But after that, I realized that I also wanted to be part of the implementation. I also wanted to be part of the configuration. I didn't just want to write the specs and understand the business and speak with different uh, stakeholders, but I wanted to also get my hands dirty mm -hmm. and implement mm -hmm the solutions yeah. as well, yeah. No, that's great. So for me, it comes across that business analysis yeah. gives you a lot of toolkits and skills um, as a stepping stone to consultancy, yeah? Yes. Now, 
let's be practical a little bit and by way of example, mm -hmm. um, without, I suppose, giving away some of the solutions, mm -hmm. right? Um, typically, what sort of solutions are you guys building and how does it make a difference to the client's life or customer and so forth, yeah? Okay, so let's say you want to assess your risk, right? Okay. So we, uh, so we, we work on a more specialized level in a sense that we work only on one product. So the product has different modules or different components. Mm. So if you, the bank wants to then um, assess their risk in that specific, in the product, then we are going to implement the risk um, analysis tool. And then, so you need to then have um, risk analysis knowledge, know okay. how, um, what are they called, the, the Greeks, how they work, sensitivities and all those things, and then implement that solution. So how the system is, is everything, it's already um, configured, basically. So mainly sometimes you have to just add code to do something you want it to do. For example, if it's an enhancement, to enhance it, to enhance the performance. But most of the config, it's already built. You just have to implement and change it to the client's need mm. by adding a, a patch of code and, um, yeah, and understanding how it will then um, impact the organization and how it will add value. Mm. And it's, it's a lot of back and forth. Okay, so that's what you wanted. No, okay. can you add this? Can yeah. it work like this? Because yeah. sometimes after implementing a solution, the client then can say that, can see something different and say, yes. okay, yes, we did say we wanted this, way, but can you also add that? Or yeah. maybe you can re recommend something for them and say, how yeah. about you do it this way? And then, yeah, it goes from there. So it's okay. a lot of back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. So talking about recommendations and analysis and problem solving, right? Yeah. Which seems to be in the realm of what you do daily. Yeah. If you were to, from the perspective of your field, right? Mm. Um, and what you do. If you were president for one day and they said, what are two or three things mm -hmm that we should be solving as a country from mm -hmm. your perspective what would that be right you, and you can look at it from your perspective mm -hmm. in terms of what you do in right in terms of what yeah. i do so i'm president and we have to change something for the country hmm let me think i think i would like open up more doors for intake basically like i would open up focus i know Yes, people are saying tech is the way to go, which is mm -hmm. true. So, but a lot of people, especially like I'm from the villages, I wouldn't have thought of tech. Uh, it's the last thing on my mind. Yeah. I went to university. I didn't know how to use the computer, yeah. right? So making people aware that there's tech because tech, you can be an engineer and work yeah. in tech. You can be and someone who did IT can work in tech. You can be someone who did finance and work in tech. So it open it, it opens so many doors to different people. Yeah. So then the problem of uh, unemployment will be addressed because okay. then people will know that there are opportunities. And as much as um, my degree, people are saying it doesn't have jobs and whatever. I can gauge into tech um, in the same way as I think data science. Mm -hmm. You can gauge. You can get into that without actually doing your actual science, doing your math statistics, yeah. but you can get your certifications and get into that. And I think a lot of people are really not aware, especially the youth, yeah. they are not aware of such opportunities that you can do certifications and yeah. get a really okay. good job yes. um, in those areas. Okay, now yeah. I've got you. So a message to the president, invest in villages, invest in schools, <laughs> in tech, um, and that will solve your unemployment problem, yeah? Um, no, thank you for that. So let's, to wrap up, let's, let's, let's brag a little bit, right? <laughs> there's, there's nothing wrong with that. If, if, if you look back, um, and I said to you, let's brag, right? About some of your achievements and so forth. What would you say? Hmm, let me think. 
the greatest achievement. I think, I don't know what, what to choose. I think getting- You've got that many. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think getting my degree was yeah. was a was a huge achievement. Um, yeah, and some of my achievements in high school, I used to do really well, and get recognition yeah. from the relevant parties, I yeah. guess. And even getting my job, yeah. uh, I didn't think I was going to get it because yeah. uh, the interview was hard. Yeah. But that also. Um, it opened me up to so many opportunities because I wanted to have a career shift. Yes. But then it brought it broadened the horizon for me that I have so many things to choose for, from yeah. and that the endless possibilities. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. Now, if if we spoke to 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 your team leader, your boss, and we asked them um, in one word to uh -huh. describe Musima to us, what do you think they will say? My boss. I think um, since I'm new, I'll just say they'll think I'm friendly and that I'm resilient. So like I am, I, I always say I'm not like the best mind in the room, but I am very inquisitive. I like asking questions. I, yeah, I'm that person who bother you basically. <laughs> Yeah, so okay. yeah, I'm very yeah. inquisitive. I always want to know why, what's going on, yeah. this and that. Yeah, so I think that's no, how they describe it. Thank you for that, ladies and gentlemen. Musima Mutlana, an actuarial scientist and with financial <laughs> mathematics background. Well done. Thank you. Um, it's a big achievement, thank and you. she's a consultant. If you're looking to solve problems, you know where to go. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.